Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2024 Draft Class Franchise Series. We're back at it again. We're heading towards training camp and preseason in this episode. See guys like Brock Bowers, Caleb Williams, Bucky Irving, Audric Estime, Adonai Mitchell's a, a big question mark in the 6'7", Johnny Wilson with freak athletes like Xavier Leggett and a fun receiver like Trey Harris on this team. Defensively, we have a lot of new faces. 262-pound Tavondre Sweat that'll look to wreak some havoc here early in his rookie career career not rookie career rookie season you guys get what i'm saying i was able to find guys like dj jones and actually yeah christian fulton in free agency and so i just went ahead and picked them up uh i made sure our cornerback room was a little bit better i got some other guys that aren't shown here like we go past tony grimes we obviously picked up darius rush in the first episode and then i got carrington valentine i didn't get this guy and i definitely didn't get this guy i thought i picked someone else up i guess i was wrong so i just got carrington valentine and it was actually the receiving room I did a lot of work on through free agency, grabbing guys like Moose Muhammad out of Texas A&M, Dominic Lovett, the Georgia receiver, and uh, those two might just see preseason reps, and we'll see if they make the roster. We'll just go down the line here with these training camp uh, tasks and these little things you got here. I'm not a big fan of them. I'm not good at any of them. There's like two of them that I know how to do. Like right here, I really have no idea what to do, so I'm actually just going to try my best to do this one. Okay, yep. See, totally bad. Sprint over to what would be Adonai Mitchell. I get one target. Definitely missed all the others. Now, this one could be hard or easy. Okay, there we go. Get a double. It's not an easy one either, and we're only able to get one. I anticipated that way wrong. Okay, so I'm actually going might, to... I might just target Trey Harris off of his cut or break here. And yep, there's a double as well. I think we'll try Adonai Mitchell here. There's one, and we barely missed the other one. Just need to throw that a little earlier. Oh, I don't really know what to do here with this one. I guess we'll just try that. Missed him. Damn it. And this, I don't know. I'm making it a lot harder than it should be, probably. But there it is. It's, I'm taking that, I guess. I spammed and couldn't retry. So <laughs> now I'm not going to like try to develop Jalen Daniels. So I guess that's done. And then rushing attack, I guess Audric Estime would be a, a good one to start out with. Here's your guys' first look here at Audric Estime. But uh, he was in, or I've already done one rep and that was the second. And then in runs like this, you kind of just got to wait for blockers to work out. And I would try this again. It's just taking a while. So I think we'll just move on with what we got. I don't think we'll really dwell on it too much because we'll be able to do these drills throughout the whole year anyways. Now, this is what I'm good at. And we have Johnny Wilson here who desperately needs uh, upgrades just because of how bad he is at catching a football. So we have goal on him already with two reps remaining. But yeah, Johnny Wilson, 6'7", freak of nature, runs at 21 miles an hour. Just in case anyone was curious how much I'm talking about like freak of nature so yeah johnny wilson just an absolute unit now his only knock is his hands extremely inconsistent and we do get a initial skill point there and 2500 xp now everyone knows brock bowers right like this guy is uh if you're watching this series you know who he is and we missed the 400 there i've never done this exact drill but we'll try to do it the best of my ability we missed that i'm gonna restart this you know this has become my least favorite drill of all time and i think i'm just gonna take the silver here we still get 2000 xp and a skill point for brock bowers we'll get a look here at mr chop robinson who i mean i don't know he's kind of fun but kind of not at the same time okay well we're on a little bit of a all right <laughs> Jesus. As I was saying, he's fun. He's not exactly like the... I guess he's a little bit bigger than I expected, but he's still probably not the size for like a full-on power rusher. So we'll try to just keep developing him in like the best like way possible to use his freak athleticism to his advantage. What is happening? Let me pass you ding-dongs. This is... Uh, what the... What, oh, man, this drill becoming one of my least favorite again. This is ridiculous. I swear, like what just happened? Are we still... We can't. We get gold. 2,500 and a skill point for shop. Woohoo. Least favorite of all time. And now we'll be trying to tackle Audric Estime here with Barrett Carter, which is going to be a tall task we somehow come out of this gold this was a very challenging one i had to restart like three times because i was determined to get it but gold for barrett carter in tackle whatever this is called and here we are with kaylin king on the last rep of this uh like whatever it's called it's so easy when you know the route i'm scared to do the ones that don't but yeah kaylin king gold so we get to uh 2500 xp and that skill point i think we're gonna try tony grimes who's actually a pretty good overall for where we took him it was like really late in the draft but his injury is so bad like his injury have plagued his career all the way through college and uh 
I don't want him, you know, playing a whole lot early because I would hate to just lose him for the season. But when the re uh, regular season comes around, if he plays well enough in preseason, we might find our starting corner on the opposite side of Christian Gonzalez. So here he is. I just actually won that last rep, but this one looks like it's going outside. Pop Douglas trying to pop that one loose. But yeah, Tony Grimes, he's a big body. He's got great size, everything like that. His speed lacks like crazy on a guy like Douglas, though. We are getting burned left and right here. It's got to be like perfect anticipation. Oh, that was sick. So nice. Short little in-breaking route. I'm trying to be there. There's nothing I can do. We're going to try this again. I want at least silver. I don't know how doable that is. We're going to try here. Pop Douglas. Just going to get a quick inside. It's a nice little whip. Get a tackle at least. Can we like press him here? We can't. Okay. That puts us in a very bad spot. Try to get a good angle on him at least to tackle. This is tough. Ooh, we're there. DPI for sure, but we'll take it. Oh, there we go. Nice little interception. It was thrown right at us on a nice little vertical route from the seam this one's gonna be in breaking and he threw it a lot earlier i need to shadow a bit better last rep here they're gonna throw it late grimes tried an interception there but yeah gold i'm happy or not gold uh, silver i'm happy with it though and then the only two we have left are the coffin corner and field goal accuracy which i'm really not about so i'll just exit out of here all right so i want to do this and then go down to after school tutoring i don't know if we have enough credit to do so or uh, whatever they're called staff points but that's just what i want early right now is just this stuff which i can't get without buying some of this stuff too but that's going to be the main goal here is just to develop these young guys all through year one and that that way year two we can really come out swinging okay yeah we can actually max this out okay it definitely did not see that coming once this one mistakes were made reset one talent tree no i'm not gonna do that but uh yeah well, we already have some after school tutoring there, which just gives us more focus players, which I'll show you guys um, maybe sometime in the preseason. And then I just maxed this one out with a uh, lockdown machine, increase XP gains for cornerbacks and training by 15%, which I really like. And then our middle linebackers are worse. So we might focus on that next. But yeah, we're going to try to get some of these trees going a bit early. I'm not going to put any like multiplier on or anything like that to make it a little less unobtainable because or a little bit more unobtainable. That way we could start developing these guys early early and get, get some uh, serious progress early in these guys' careers. Brock Bowers first upgrade points as a tight end. We'll try his vertical threat here and just see if it upgrades this overall, and it does. He's an 82 overall now, and we see everything kind of just went up. He's so good. Johnny Wilson and his. We need to just work on whatever catching is. This right here, slot, he's going to have to just upgrade catching like crazy. His catching is super low at what is it? 76. And he's to be in like the 80s before he's in starter territory and barrett carter where does he need to be better probably just in block shedding so i'd say as a run stopper he just needs to be a little bit better and profiles a little bit more in that that way than our other linebackers him being a little bit bigger and more athletic it helps out 6'1 229 he looks a lot bigger than that right there but uh yeah 75 tackle 80 hit power he can come down and make some good hits uh good in coverage for now kalen king and what he's good at is his man we're gonna have to upgrade i'd like his man to be good before we start working on zone and we'll just try to play a little bit more more man coverage to to match up with our, our personnel on this team tony grimes his face looks so small on that body but 66 man coverage really stinks six foot 190 he actually had 94 speed 96 excel it did not feel like anywhere near that but that's why his man is still pretty good but yeah we're gonna have to get his man coverage up before he ever touches the starting field like that is pretty bum he's a good developmental player along with some of the other guys on this team and like i mentioned we were able to get uh veterans like Dalvin Cook and then someone who's still 25 and Christian Fulton here. I would like to play Kalen King so far over him and then it'll be Abrams Dre in a slot. It'll be it'll be interesting how this kind of works out and then we'll have our last upgrade here on Chop Robinson with our uh, you know newest edge rusher. <laughs> He's just a uh, super twitchy has 80 power moves but I want his I want his speed rusher to be a little bit better. Kind of match what he can do. Like, if he can swim move at his speed, it'd be kind of elite. So, I'm just going to try to develop that before anything else. 77 block shed's also pretty good. And we will start our preseason kicking off to the Detroit Lions. And we'll see what they can do with their starting offense. Here we go. The youngest team in the NFL on the field right now. The, the current lay of our team. We are very young right now. And that's Sam Laporta. Yeah, he's been very good very early in his career. Jeremiah Trotter gonna try to come in and make a play if not it's actually third 
38. Who is that? 38. It's Chris Abrams Drain. Never mind. Good play by our nickel cornerback, who's uh, going to be highly involved here. And our corner room is going to be highly evaluated in this preseason. Uh, a lot of positions are. And Christian Gonzalez was right there in coverage. Just got B at the catch point. Schroeder right now doesn't really do anything. And there's Chris Abrams Drain. He's right over there to make the play after just four yards. Second and six. Wide open. Jameer Gibbs. We've got some blitzers on the inside trying to make something happen. And it is going to be... Barrett Carter in the backfield. Second and 12 now. Jared Goff working under center. It's going to be Jameer Gibbs is able to shrug off the tackle and it's Stutzman trying to get him down now and Panay Sewell. Crazy starter to lose in the preseason. That sucks for them. Pretty good for us. First and 10. It looks like our corners have struggled early and they'll come down with I think that is James Mitchell and we've come down with Stutzman. I'm sure they're going to highlight our draft class here. That is just in the first two rounds. I think we even had three or four more picks in that second round and in that draft other than what you guys just saw so a lot of different draft picks from that class on our hands here tj sanders and i think that's tavondre sweat and that's kaylin king getting mismatched i don't know who that is on the it's donovan people's jones that's unfortunate bad bad drive from our young defense but definitely showed a little bit of strength with chris abrams drain someone i recognize early as a playmaker injury timeout it is moose muhammad will not get a fair evaluation today he'll be stepping out audric estime probably shouldn't be the running back in right now that's bucky irving's spot is what it is we'll go out early too that is not whatever his face is that is not brock bowers that is mccallan castles the tennessee tight end first and 10 and we'll go right for brock bowers our second or third overall pick but our second pick in this draft if pop douglas adonai I mentioned xavier leggett taking starting snaps here for us at wide receiver we're gonna get caleb williams on the move threaten the defense with his legs and then alternately throw it out to audrick estimated did a good job catching that. Gotta make sure Bucky Irving's in the right spot. So yeah, he actually it was in the right place and now Caleb Williams will be working out of play action. Rolling left. Can we get that to Pop Douglas? We can't. Second and 10 now and we're gonna be going for Brock Bowers again. He's gonna have to be a extreme safety blanket for Caleb Williams early in uh, the preseason and just regular season and just in general. He's gonna have to be a part of this offense for sure. It's almost 100% and we'll just make sure to give this one off to Audric Estime. He's gonna try to make a play he gets outside the Notre Dame running back, getting nine yards on his first carry. First and 10. I would like to get this one out. I didn't get it out early enough. Danico Autry, the Detroit line going down now. Sheesh. Second and nine, another RPO. We will just let the running back take this one. Audric Estime breaking loose for his second, going for nine on back-to-back -back carries. Third and inches, a run likely, uh, likely spot, but we're going for Adonai Mitchell, possession technician type of receiver at 6'4". He's making a great impact here in this drive, getting a key third and inches. And we'll see what the power back, Audric Estime, to make could do he's a little bit smaller than i thought he would be in game gets inside breaks a tackle an arm tackle that is but still finds the end zone audrick Estime looked good on his first drive in the nfl first and 10 we are running a very man heavy scheme and a very uh, RPO heavy offense. And oh my Lanta. We had bunches and we're lucky that's not, or I guess they're lucky that's not an interception. Was, that needed to be something there. We needed some sort of like spark to happen for this defense before they actually lose faith in themselves we're gonna try to roll out here barrett carter breaks that one loose epj is left on an island thanks to me usering i think that's Marte mapu ah uh, that's such a bummer i was just trying to move him up and then they snapped the ball earlier than i thought so i got stuck on him and i guessed in like an inside route and dpj cooked me on an outside route so that's not great not a good one that you like to give up it's a big play definitely didn't need to be given up and it's a good inc uh, incompletion there and one way to evaluate your corners is play a lot of man to realize or like kind of see who's got it and who doesn't Kaylin king and his pursuit angle was dog and uh that'll be a touchdown for jameer gibbs on a longer run Kaylin king definitely had a chance at that run the ball well so we're gonna think that uh, or we're gonna make him think that we have a chance at doing that there rolling out and up that's exactly what caleb williams does better than anybody else there's a flag on the play but what a play by caleb williams already and it's gonna be roughing the passer it's tough i mean when you're working on a guy like caleb williams who gets out let's take another look at this this is good pocket awareness and just escapability from caleb williams avoiding number 92 64 gets rid of his block pretty quick so you've got this guy here Ali mcneil i'm guessing that's Danico autry who's already back from injury 
and Romeo or Julian Aquara. And then Caleb Williams gets out, throws a dart right into Brock Bauer's hands. That's exactly what we're dealing with here with Caleb Williams, is a guy who can create plays like that and just continue to uh, impress. And hopefully he will find himself in a good spot by the, the season start to the point of he's super comfortable and he's able to make those plays. Play action. It's not faking anybody out. And yep, that one just wasn't going to work out. Just uh, falls incomplete. Bucky Irving on the field. We, we're getting a lot of people vertical here. Let's get uh, Brock Bowers who gets... Oh my God, he's so good through contact. So good. Normally you see that kind of dropped. And I do have the catching slider down for us. Kind of not significantly, but it's there. Bucky Irving on for the last play and is back on for this one. Uh, do I dare do it? We're going to give Brock Bowers a chance. Not quite a jump ball, but a good field play. These two are already building an insane connection. Six catches, 64 or 84 yards for Brock Bowers. We're going to sub in our backups here. So Dalvin Cook, who hasn't even played a play, comes in and he's already winded. Jalen Daniels, the quarterback out of wherever it's called. It's called Kansas. He's in and will be throwing this ball. He's can't create or anything. We'll have to throw it away with him. Nothing a whole like not not a whole lot of opportunities there. Dalvin Cook will get the carry, find the defense a little off guard, and Dalvin Cook has a touchdown in the preseason. Probably not one to celebrate. Okay, never mind. He's he's gonna celebrate it a lot. I was gonna say probably not one to celebrate too much, but yeah. We'll see some Hendon Hooker out here, and I did uh, try to get everybody into the game that I thought was needed. Who is that in the backfield, number 99? Who, who's making that play? I need to know if it's uh, Michael Hall, who's supposed to be adding weight right Okay, it was Chris Board. Never mind. Michael Hall is 92. If he has a good preseason and he continues to add weight because he's only 280, supposed to be playing interior for us, we could see him around midseason come in and just start for us because he's so good but just so undersized right now that we're just really trying to beef him up. So we're going to have to watch out for any big plays by him. If he has any, then that would be more than great news. Head and hooker, and that's Michael Hall right there. That's a sack. We were just talking about him. He's super slim but plays interior very well coming out of Ohio State. Jalen Daniels will come in now. He's not quite the improviser archetype or anything like that, but he can find an open target and sling it as McAllen Castles. Nice catch and run, 16 yards up the field. I'll give you players to watch right now. It's Johnny Wilson and probably... McCallan Castles, Bucky Irving, but we're going to go for McCallan and Jalen Daniels just misses that one. Second and 10, we're going to try to get a little vertical here, see what we can find. We're going to go a little lower for McCallan. Three straight targets for the tight end. Probably need to figure something else out. I like this wide open defense concept or uh, offense concept here. We're going to use Jalen da Daniels. He's going to try to work on the run there. Fourth and one preseason. Why not? Let's at least line up to go for it. I like our look against the run. Jalen Daniels is going to check to the run. We're going to get the veteran Dalvin Cook into that first down scenario. Trust me, I'm going to be giving Johnny Wilson quite a bit of spotlight here. We're going to go for him. Actually, it's just going to be missed. Tried to freeform that one out in front of him. Can't get away from the run game, Bells. We'll go to Dalvin Cook. He's going to try to get outside and beat Jack Campbell, and that's unlikely to happen at his age. Third and two now. We're going for the big receiver, and it's dropped. <laughs> We're going to line up here. And it is Bucky Irving in right now at running back. Misreads the blocks and finds himself tackled in the backfield. Fourth and what, two? We couldn't convert. And now the defense will be back out on the field trying to cover up for that offense there. Uh, it's just unfortunate. Board and Giles Harris is not who we wanted here on the uh, linebacking level. And that is number one. That's Tony Grimes coming in. Jeremiah Trotter probably should be the one sitting out instead of Barrett Carter. But I just want to see what we have a little bit more with Jeremiah Trotter. Is that actually stopped? They aren't. Marte Mapu didn't make that tackle in time. Carson Steele is uh, fighting, but he's also injured. Getting put up there on the table. Uh, it, was, it possibly was from fighting with the other teams. Stutzman couldn't get out there. The Oklahoma linebacker just not there. Stack in the middle of this field, hoping that they go up the gut here with Montgomery. They don't. It's a rush throw, and it's still complete. Hendon Hooker looks really good right now. I'm not going to lie. First and 10. We're going to drop back into coverage. They've got a wide open guy. It's Lawrence guy. That's why. Oh, there's a lot of <laughs> rhymes going around. First and 10, they'll go with the run. Someone needs to get off their block and make an effort there, but no one can. Cole Bishop was the closest guy to him coming from the opposite side of the field. This is a total shootout. This is preseason 
This is prime preseason right here, actually. Not not exactly preseason's like peak or anything like that. This is like prime preseason. First and ten. I did not mean to give Bucky Irving the ball. Breaks a tackle and goes back six yards or seven even. Oh, Bucky Irving, tough day for him. Second and seventeen, putting us in a very bad spot. We're going for Trey Harris, turning around, adjusting to that catch. It's a good job for him. Jalen Daniels puts the ball in his vicinity and Trey Harris comes down with it. Have a nice little fake end around play action. Johnny is wide open trying to make a tight sideline catch. Jalen Daniels starting to catch a rhythm. Snap the ball, move left, and nope, nope, nothing going there. That was a screen play. Bucky Irving doesn't get out of his stance or anything like that uh, early enough. Didn't really read the situation correctly. Bucky Irving starting to really disappoint here early in this and we'll roll out with Jalen Daniels who's got some speed on Danico Autry but not Kirby Joseph can't quite beat him we have Mike on Wenu in a priority route here that just shows you what's really going on we're gonna get it out to McAllen Castles who's had a nice solid uh, beginning to his NFL career here showing what he can do as a tight end too in this nice old preseason game looking to snap the ball and go to tr okay that's not Trey Harris Okay, never mind. Look to throw a jump ball there, but hit the wrong button. And Johnny Wilson coming open, catches that ball and through traffic. 55 seconds left. We've got to make sure we can get this one to count. We can run the ball and then call a timeout, and that's what we'll do. Running the ball straight up the end zone. Bucky Irving trying to get shifty. Couldn't, but we'll call a timeout and reassess. First and goal. I don't know who our priority player is, and that's going to be picked off. Bad decision by Jalen Daniels. Bucky Irving going to track down as a Sakello Witherspoon. He's going to try to at least track down a Kello. Can't. We're going to dive for it. And no, nothing going. It's a pick six. Oh, that, that sucks. 20 seconds left here. They want us to just call it quits and just pass the ball or uh, run the ball, pass the time up here. But we're not going to do that. We're going to look for a guy like McAllen, layer it in, and the defense can't. And it's, is that CJ Gardner Johnson? Yeah, he's playing in a preseason game. Give me a freaking break. David Montgomery breaking loose goes for a bit. I know you guys didn't see literally the first end of that play. They're going to get some points off this as well. So much for a good primetime game here or a good preseason game here. Prime preseason. I had it labeled. Darius Rush going off one end. Can't block. It'll be 31 to 14. That's a, that's a unfortunate score line there. Here we are. We left with a chance. So we left, left last half with a chance. And now we really are uh, outnumbered here and taking another sack. I see X now, in hindsight, but no one really piqued my interest early in that one. It's unfortunate. I see Trey Harrison press coverage over there on the left side. If a safety drops or doesn't pay attention, we might want to target that, and that's exactly what we'll do. Kansas quarterback letting loose for Trey Harris, who lost his DB in coverage. Trey Harris getting off his release kind of nice. Jalen Daniels back to pass, and we're going for uh, this guy, Johnny Wilson, sits down in zone trying to help out his quarterback. Play action on second and five. And that is just that. Why is he running backwards, cross body off his back? Look, what are we doing? Third and five, not in a must have it situation here, but it would be nice trying to get the ball out to McCallan. Can't. Pressure's getting in so quick. We'll bring Cade York on to see if we could bring in the right guy and if he's going to be our kicker this season. 51 yards is good for Cade York. Who's uh, got quite the leg on him? Pennant Hooker has been too much to handle for the for us in this preseason, and Barrett Carter's going to try to come down and make a play on Brock Wright, or that's Charlie Warner now. Never mind. Second and one now. We'll try to get a blitz inside. It's Danny Stutzman trying to make up for one of their one or two of his mistakes earlier. Third and four. They'll step back and they'll get this one really easily to Reynolds. He's up the field, or that's Khalif Raymond, not Reynolds. First and 10, we'll try to track these guys. What a throw by Hedden Hooker. Moving out right, throwing crossbody in timing with anticipation. Oh, <laughs> Jesus whiz. And we'll go inside with Montgomery, or at least try to stop him from inside. Only a gain of two on that last play. They replayed the, the Hedden Hooker throw there briefly. I know you guys didn't see it, but uh, oh man, he's a starting quarterback right now. He's playing like one of the best right now and scary. And this one coming back to number 80. Yeah, Hooker is carving 
us up right now. And we have a sack. It's Jeremiah Trotter getting through the middle of the field. Maybe the A or B gap, but somehow finds his way into the backfield and gets the unstoppable Hendon Hooker to halt their momentum really quick as Jeremiah Trotter and Stutzman really taking key reps here. RPO outside must make tackle. It's Christian Fulton there. All of our corners are playing for roster spots right now, unless you are uh, Gonzalez and... Also, what's the other guy? Gonzalez and not Christian Fulton, Kalen King. Those two are basically roster locks at this point. And this right here, this is Dominic Lovett, the Georgia receiver. He's looking to be our uh, kick returner this year. I think I I like the way he's running right now. He runs out with quite some, some fire, but it is preseason. Can't really tell. But after a field goal from the Lions, we're not forced to do anything, but we're going to try to put together a good drive here using some players and Bucky Irving no burst out of the, the backfield and he's just been constantly caught in his tracks second and 10 Jalen Daniels trying to step up and make some throw with uh make a throw with poise can't third and 10 key down for us here on this drive and try to layer it into Dominic Lovett and he's just not getting enough loft under these throws and Johnny Wilson will try to dive for it there and Bucky Irving and Jalen Daniels both there to make the play that's Jalen Daniels what third Oh boy, third interception this early. Not great. Need to throw like a high ball there or something to, to layer that over to an open Dominic Lovett who was just open in terms of like levels. Like his, his level was good. Just had someone lurking underneath. Second and nine. We're going to bring in a blitz or just of sorts. Just bring pressure and guys up the middle and try to stop a run. And it's rushed. It's also going to be incomplete. Hendon Hooker was rushed in the pocket under pressure. Misses his first throw of the night. Headed for, I believe that was Carson Steele, the UCLA running back. I'm quite a fan of his. I think he's like a 60 eight overall but he's, he's a good player and uh hopefully does well in real life and in the game we might see him uh make some plays before the end of this game bringing in a new look personnel here we'll have Keishawn Boutte on the field and then love it and then we'll still see Johnny Wilson in some sets Bucky Irving and we have the same tight ends in and then new quarterback Malik Cunningham that can absolutely move and this one is going to almost be picked off by him. Poor decision. Second and 10, Bucky Irving back behind him. We're going to try to carve up the zone play and go with Johnny Wilson. Stays up on two feet. The 6'7 body not willing to go down. And we'll rely on probably our least reliable player all game long. It's Bucky Irving. Yeah, gets picked up and thrown down like he weighs two pounds. Jack Campbell making a great play. And we'll pump this one away with Matt Ariza. Someone I'm sure you guys might have mixed opinions on at this point in time see what he can do with his leg kind of just getting a good feel for our special teamers as well in uh in preseason just as much as in uh just in general i guess first and 10 trying to get outside couldn't Marte mapu trying to come in and uh, uh disrupt the play not obstruct or uh, whatever i was gonna try to say second and four this team looks like they want to run and they have been trying to trying to bring him out into open space and that is tj sanders on the inside another player i'm quite fond of third and five not an important down by any means but yeah what are we doing tony grimes you're you're making it hard buddy you're making it too hard for yourself into the backfield couldn't quite make the play there tj sanders was there early though getting off his block very fast get some man coverage involved on this defense just trying to stop the run and that's josh uche getting off of his block Doing a good job. That might be Rashid Walker. Similar look here on defense on third and seven. Just trying to stop this team from converting. And Tony Grimes letting up yet another reception. First and ten. Once again, probably looks to run. We'll try to middle up or sure up the middle of this defense. Just trying to get into the backfield. Couldn't. And who is 32? That might be Darius Rush trying to come down and make a play. Jack Campbell's in playing tight end for them. Good job, I guess, for, for Jack Campbell being the best two-way player. And that's Christian Fulton coming in. Second and nine. Offense is probably going to try to cook something up. And they did. It's just fortunately missed. Hendon Hooker couldn't get that one. That's good for only his second incompletion today. He's been so, so, so very good. Been very hard to uh, keep up with Hendon Hooker and his arm with this young and backup defense. As we're trying to get Jeremiah Trotter out there. We can't. Spin move gets Marte Mapu out of the way. Ah, oh, Jeremiah Trotter just bites inside. Can't do that. Second or first and ten. Stuck. Stutzman was back there, but couldn't finish the play, and instead it's going to be 
the uh, the uh, defensive lineman. Or that, never mind, it was Christian Fulton cleaning that one up, I guess. I, I don't know. I guess I'm, my eyes are go getting bad. We have Keon White, TJ Sanders, Michael Hall, and Josh Uche on the defensive line right now. They're playing pretty good ball. Nothing, like, special. There, there's Josh Uche. Never mind, that's his second great play. It is Rasheed Walker. As a Packers fan, I know how bad he is. He's currently starting for us in real life. And that is Giles Harris and... The other guy, CJ Board, coming down for that one. It'll be fourth and five. They'll kick their field goal, get their 40 points up on us tonight, and then we'll have another chance with the ball. Blake Cunningham will bring this offense back out onto the field here and gets happy to scramble, trying to beat. Is that Danico Autry who just flattened him after five yards? We're going to try to mock up another screen to Bucky, and he sucks at screens. Oh, my Lanta. Adonai Mitchell is sniffing the field in the fourth quarter with five minutes to go might look to take advantage of that and definitely will adonai mitchell burning kirby joseph the safety and denigo autry goes down for the second time today lee cunningham as mobile as he is we're gonna try to get him involved as a passer never mind not when we get a look like that get bucky irving a nice block for us and he ends up stepping out big play opportunity missed first and ten Cunningham just straight up the middle here and he fumbles the ball it's gonna be turned over trying to uh slide there couldn't get down in time puts himself in harm's way fumbles the ball we just had a, a very bad going here no other words really to be said I'm sure you guys won't see the rest of this one so done with the game now we'll go to players stats and just look at Patriots and Caleb Williams came out and looked so good by the way 10 of 12 118 didn't even realize it was that good the rookie out of USC, the second overall pick, and Buck Irving was terrible. Audrey Gastelum was really good. Right side there, Dalvin Cook looked like good. I don't know if he'll make the team. It'll be uh, tough to see. You know, I don't really know. And Brock Bowers, after the whole game, leads the team in both receptions and yards. Johnny Wilson behind him in just receptions with four. Goes for 41. Did have that drop. McCallan Castles was fine. He wasn't special to me. And then Trey Harris had that one big play for 40 yards. And I guess another 23-yard play. Ad and I got involved early uh, and then had that one later. And Xavier Leggett was kind of fine. Audric Estime, four receiving yards. Blocking. It was Cody Mock letting up a sack. That's letting me down, Cody. Defensively, uh, special. Michael Hall was good. Two TFLs, a sack. He was getting involved, showing that, hey, my size is not going to stop me early this year. And then before the season starts, I think I'll put five pounds on him. And then by like week four, I think we'll be, he'll be up to like 295. And we might start him at like midseason or something like that. Keep that storyline going. Kind of breaking the fourth wall there. I, I I don't know. I don't really have a fourth wall. I'm continuously talking. Uh, game plan. And then kick and punt returning, Dominic Lovett was very good at 28.2 per. He was, he was very good. I don't know how much preseason content you guys want to see or anything like that, but we've got three games. The next one coming up, I'll do fully by myself. I'll actually play the full game, try to get the best team possible. I've got to sign a bit more free agents. That's for damn sure. And then, uh, yeah, Shador Sanders, actually. Holy crap. And J.J. McCarthy, both given their shot. And they had 70% completion percentage, almost 300 yards and a touchdown. Tyler Huntley threw four touchdowns. J.J. McCarthy went for 264. And then a good look at Will Shipley, who went for 73 yards on 19 carries. And Marshawn Lloyd, the USC running back, 18 carries, 78 yards and a touchdown touchdown for him i yeah i don't know xavier smith that's kind of weird a fun name there though zavin collins dexter lawrence no one really crazy interception leaders no one we know either and no one in the tackle leaders as well out of this last draft class but yeah i'll upgrade matt Ariza here and just to upgrade power obviously just trying to get that as high as we can before we start messing with accuracies kick accuracy and power both up one so that's good uh yeah i don't know how much preseason you guys want to see but i'll do this game fully by myself and then by the end of next game i don't know what i'll let you guys know or not but if you guys enjoyed leave a like if the video ends now um which i'm sure uh, yeah I i'm gonna end it i'm sorry this is Total train wreck by me. But that'll be all for me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, go ahead and like, go down and subscribe. Go watch any of the past content on the channel. It's me guaranteeing you that you will enjoy every single video on this channel from about a month or so. You know, in the, the past month, like before that, it was a little rough. That'll be all for me. Thanks for watching. Deuces.